Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. It's going to be what I think is my first haul of 2018, I think, but don't quote me on that. Um, it just feels like forever since I've done one and I'm starting it off with an ASOS haul. This is going to be a pre-spring ASOS haul. Now it's actually been quite a while since I bought a load of stuff from ASOS. I don't know, I've just found that it got a little bit cool, it got a little bit East London street style and not really my style but now that we're getting into spring which is very much my style there are some pieces that I could not resist adding to my basket so this arrived this morning um, I actually tracked it on the DPD app and it was amazing I could literally see that he'd stopped for a Costa before coming and dropping this off very very clever so great service um, not sponsored by DPD so I'm gonna just get started and show you what is in my ginormous ASOS box. Mm, but first I'm gonna pose for the thumbnail. <gasps> Alrighty, so the first thing is this pink jumper and this is a Jack Wills jumper. To be honest, the thing that I love the most about ASOS is that they have all the different retailers from Jack Wills, even Boohoo, Misguided, up to Ted Baker, Reese, that kind of thing. And you never really are too sure of all these different retailers' returns policies or their shipping. ASOS, you just know it's gonna be there the next day and no problem with returns. So I tend to do a lot of my multi-retailer buying all from ASOS. Jack Wills, I feel like I wore it a lot in my teenage years. I was I was that girl in school that did like the raw hairstyle, like big quiff, um, denim skirt, Ugg boots, Jack Wills hoodie. That was me. We used to call them Sloans or raw girls. Let me know in the comments below if you have a clue what I'm talking about. It's probably a Monmouth girls school thing. But um, then, it went for, then I went for a few years, didn't really shop in Jack Wills and now I actually think they have some beautiful pieces again. So this is a gorgeously soft Soft jumper, baby pink, the kind of thing that I know I'll get so much use out of. I live in knitwear at this time of year, spring chilly mornings when you just want something cosy but that's not too thick and bulky like it's going to a point where this is actually too thick um, and I really like the detail on this so you've got these almost like woven bits down there which adds a detail to the neckline and then a nice high neck and the sleeves are just quite plain with the stretchy cuff detail beautiful colour, let's see how this looks on. This jumper is absolutely perfect, I love the colour, it is so soft, it feels absolutely gorgeous on my skin. Really really like the neckline, how it's got this stripe detail and then the fairly high ribbed material up here. I think the colour is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it slightly weirdly with a suede skirt for something else that I was trying on but I think this with pale coloured jeans could be a really nice way of just making a jeans and a jumper outfit a little bit more cosy and chic at the same time. So I've just quickly also tucked it into my suede skirt and I think this is a really nice way of once again adding a bit of warmth to an outfit but still being really really fashionable and on trend for spring. I think this is definitely a way that I would wear it out and about to a day of meetings. This suede skirt is very high-waisted. I'd probably wear it with one that's not quite so high up so that you get a little bit more detail of the jumper on show but I think this is a really lovely way of wearing it with high-waisted trousers as well or even if you just want a super cosy layering piece big big fan of the jumper. This next thing is quite random, a bit of a wild card. It's basically a blanket from a brand called Pimkey and I actually thought that they'd listed this at the wrong price because this was only £21 and I feel like Pimkey is a pretty good designer to be getting something that cheap. It's this ginormous blanket with pom-pom details. I thought this would look absolutely adorable chucked over the sofa. Because it's so thick, it's like a really substantial material. I have to say this is pretty heavy. It's a very heavy blanket. Um, I was going to say great for picnics, but actually it's probably too heavy for that. But I really love the pom-poms. I'm going to see if the boys show any interest in these because I feel like they could be the sort of thing, it could be the sort of thing that little puppy dogs want to chew but hopefully this will be a really chic way of just covering our sofa. This next piece is ASOS own brand and I always find that ASOS own brand can be a little bit hit and miss so um, I'm always really interested to see how the quality is. This looks like pretty good quality to be honest, it is a spring dress, it's got a sheer overlay if you spotted my eight spring trends you can wear now video, you'll have seen me talking about how sheer fabric is a really big trend. 
And this just reminds me of the perfect kind of Easter christening dress. If you've got any lovely events to go to, any garden parties, any engagement parties, this is just absolutely adorable. It's fairly bouffant, so I think it's going to be quite voluminous on the skirt. And then you've got this princess neckline detail at the front here. Adjustable straps, which is always a big bonus. You can make these longer or shorter, just kind of like bra strap style. So I'm really excited to give this a try. Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore this dress. Exactly what I was after when it comes to just a really, really cute dress to wear to spring occasions. I even think this would be perfect as a bridesmaid dress or a prom dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. So good that these straps are adjustable as well. I've had to hoik mine up quite a bit. I'm not wearing a bra underneath. I think it would just be um, on show a little bit because it is quite low cut. But then you can get wonder bras that go down that low if you do need a bra. This is like the perfect thing to shoot for a spring lookbook. So you guys are definitely gonna be seeing this a lot in the upcoming fashion content, so be warned. This next piece is a brand that I had not spotted on ASOS before, but now that I've seen it, I'm seeing a lot of it, if that makes sense. It's a brand called Hope and Ivy, and I picked up this dress. I actually thought it was a jumpsuit, but it's a dress. Hold to neck, you've got this interesting crochet detail at the back here. This would be really lovely for summer holidays. I don't have any holidays booked at the moment. Charlie and I are trying to plan some nice warm trips. But again, even in the UK when the temperatures start to rise, if you've got a leather jacket you could pair over the top of this or a suede jacket, that would be absolutely beautiful. I'm going to give it a try. It's going to have to be pretty special for me to keep it because it is quite far in the future that I would be wearing this type of thing. I am really, really torn with this. There is so much that I love about it, but also some bits that I think are a little bit strange. I think if you were having an outdoor wedding, then dressing your bridesmaids in this would be adorable. I think the back is absolutely beautiful with that crochet going across the back. Or if you're going to summer garden parties, spring garden parties, this is beautiful. It's quite clingy to the body, so if you um, indulge a little bit too much of the barbecue, then you could definitely see your tummy in this. But then it's a little bit of a strange fit around the underarms and the neckline. Obviously a hold to neck so you can make it the height that you want it to be, because that is a bow tie there. I don't know, I think for summer holidays this could be really, really lovely, but it's definitely not the highest of quality. It's not bad quality at all, but the material, there's just something not quite right about it. I'm not too sure. I think if I had a holiday coming up, then I would keep this to wear, but because I don't have anything in the pipeline, I think I might send it back, but I do think it's beautiful. I don't know, I think it'll fit differently on different body types, but for me, there's something not quite right here. <laughs> Next, I've got another piece from Jack Wills, and this is their cotton, I think they called it an overcoat, and I just thought that this was a really wearable piece, but also quite different to anything I've got in my wardrobe at the moment. I've got trench coats that are this kind of material, Material, but sometimes you just want something a little bit more casual a trench coat you really do have to do up for it to look good whereas this I felt you could just pop on over your shoulders and it's a really lovely way of adding a pastel color to your outerwear as I said in my spring trends video it's really nice to have a brighter colored outerwear because everyone wears gray and black and I just think that you have such a spring in your step when you do wear a brighter color this, I would say, is a very wearable pink, but still a really statement pink shade. I think this is probably going to need steaming. It looks a little bit creased at the moment, but I'm going to try this on, maybe just with a jeans and t-shirt combination, to see how it looks. So the coat actually has a lining, which is like a t-shirt lining, which is really unusual, but makes it very, very comfortable. The colour, I absolutely adore. I think it's such a cute colour. Still feels quite British in that it's almost like a raincoat material. It's I don't know how to describe it, it's definitely coated so I feel like raindrops just kind of bounce off this. Um, but yeah, I think it's adorable, this colour I absolutely adore. I think for those April showers days this is going to be the kind of thing that I reach for very very regularly. It's very me, just a really fun way of adding a really nice colour to your outerwear. So yeah, big fan of this, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So this is again a bit of a wild card from UGG. I was more intrigued than anything else to see how they would look and actually I think that is quite fun. So these are UGG sliders and they have got almost like this multi pom pom fur and string and knitted kind of detail on the front. I just think they are so much fun. They almost look like Birkenstocks in the 
in the sole where they've got the cork and then your foot really does lie in this dip but they could be really nice ones for wearing around the house for any upcoming beach holidays again not that i've got any planned um but yeah i thought they would be great fun and i think that uggs have a reputation that they don't deserve i actually think ugg shoes can be really stylish so yeah I thought these are fun and I'm excited to see how I can style these ones up. Up next is another accessory and I got these kind of matrix style sunglasses. You've probably already seen a lot of bloggers and celebs wearing them, they're very much on trend at the moment and I've not tried any before. These were very affordable, I think they're ASOS own brand um, and they are bronze so I thought if I'm going to be able to wear any it's going to be this kind of colour so I'm intrigued to see. Oh my goodness. I feel like a character out of an 80s movie. They feel quite wide for my face shape. Oh, I feel like I look like um, someone out of the Jetsons, or is it Penelope Pink in Wacky Races? I don't know, but these are quite unusual. Not sure how I feel about these. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of this sunglass trend. I know that there is a designer that has some white ones. I think Les Specs have got a pair, but yeah thought I would give that trend a try so let me know your thoughts on this style of skinny sunglasses. Next is a piece from Fashion Union and this is a high neck top which is pretty much purely lace so I'm not too sure what I'd wear underneath this if I had that Dior bra with Dior on the straps and I would definitely wear that underneath it but maybe I need to find a high street alternative but it's essentially a not a polo neck, um, just a high neck blouse with long sleeves. This could be, do you know what, this would be an amazing layering piece if you've got a uh, pinafore dress or if you've got a jumpsuit or something like that, like a dungaree style outfit. This would be amazing for layering underneath. In fact, I'll probably keep it purely for that reason. I'll see if I've got any dresses in my wardrobe that this can be styled with or find something that will make it not so sheer underneath. So this blouse is actually not as see-through as I thought it was going to be. I think because the lace is quite close, it's quite a busy lace, you really can get away without putting a specific um, kind of crop top on underneath. I'm just wearing a nude coloured bra and you can't see it at all, which is amazing. So that's great because you can see the top a little bit more. It's so pretty, it'd be a shame to hide this. Such an affordable piece, but really, really statement. I think it looks gorgeous with this high-waisted skirt. I've been wearing this skirt so much, it's so so versatile, it is a premium piece, quite expensive, um, but I will leave it linked down below because it's one that I wear so much, as you guys probably know, but um, yeah, really big fan of the top, you could probably pair it with a gilet as well for a little bit of extra warmth because obviously with the lace being so holy, it's gonna be a little bit chilly. So with a gilet, I think that is absolutely adorable. Bring you in a little bit close so you can see the detail of the lace. And look, you really cannot see my underwear, which is great. So yes, really big fan of the Fashion Union lace top. Another very random thing, this is a storage bag. I thought that this was um, really, really handy. It says hoarder slash collector and the reason why I got this was because we're reaching that time of year when I'm going to be starting to put some of my winter things up in the loft for storage and I thought that this because it's a really big bag with a zip top I thought this would be very very useful for storing my winter items such as hats and gloves really thick winter coats and thermals hopefully we're reaching that time of year when we're not going to need them until hopefully October so yeah that's going to be really really handy for storing some of my winter garments. This next piece is a dress from True Decadence. I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see but it's essentially a halter neck and then you have got these tiny little sleeves like three-quarter sleeves so it'll be cold shoulder effect. I'm definitely going to have to try this on to show you but once again I'll probably keep either this or the first dress with the embellished flowers on it just for spring upcoming events so let me know in the comments which one you prefer and which one I should keep. This I feel is very very me. I adore this shade of pink. It feels very boho-ish with these very floppy cold shoulder sleeves. Love the halter neck neckline. It's not something that I wear that often, but oh, it's just it just hangs absolutely beautifully. The length as well. Um, I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see how long it is. So it's a very flattering length just above the ankles. If you pop some heels on then it's still going to be a very very ladylike modest length. But it's this detail around the shoulders and around the neckline I think is adorable if you're going on a summer holiday or again for any any summer occasion whether that's horse races or engagement party just absolutely beautiful. 
big big fan and I think I'm gonna have to keep both of these dresses because I love them both so much. Now I really really love midi skirts and maxi skirts and I thought that this was a really really lovely style. It looks quite big. I've actually got the UK 4 here but it still looks, well not big but I would have expected it to be a little bit smaller because I do want this to be really really high waisted. Once again this is going to need steaming or ironing because it has got quite creased because it is cotton but really love the effect of these buttons. It could make for a really lovely almost Riviera style outfit with perhaps a pale pink or white t-shirt or you could wear this with, you could even wear this with like an off the shoulder top, that kind of thing. I'll give this a try, let me know what you think and I've just realised it does have pockets as well, which is always a bonus. So I really was not too sure what to pair with this skirt. In the end, I've gone for this sleeveless, again, this needs ironing slash steaming as well, um, sleeveless top, which I got from Reese a couple of springs ago. The skirt, I do wish it was a little bit narrower around the waist, like I said, I wish it was kind of there, whereas it does hang, um, have a little bit of room. But then having said that, the zip, was quite tight so I was um, struggling a little bit to get it on so if they did make it a bit narrower then it would need to have a longer zip. I love the pockets, I'm going to show you what it looks like a little bit lower down. Okay so this is how the skirt looks um, from the bottom, I really like the shape of the hemline, it's almost like an asymmetric hem. I do think it's a really beautiful skirt, I wish it was a little bit more crease proof but then if you're going, I think if you're going on a holiday on a boat, if you're going on a cruise or if you live in a coastal resort, I think it's very kind of seaside-esque, the buttons remind me of almost like a sailor style. I do love it, I'm just not sure how much I would wear a piece like this, so I think I probably will end up sending it back, but I definitely appreciate the style of it and I wish I had more occasions where I could wear something like this. I have a few smaller accessories down in the bottom, the first of which is this little Whistles card holder in this beautiful blush pink, I'll show you a close up of it here. Um, beautiful blush pink, it's like a faux alligator effect, leather and then it's got one pocket there, big pocket in the middle and then a pocket at the back. My card wallet, which you may have seen in my What's In My Handbag video recently, it's getting a little bit battered, so I thought I would treat myself to a new one to keep all of my different cards in that I carry with me on an everyday basis. This one was £25 and I will use it loads and loads, so yes, very happy with that one from Whistles. Then I have this pair of sunglasses. These are new look sunglasses, but of course got them from ASOS. They reminded me so much of my Kate Spade ones. And I actually got these more for your benefit because I know a lot of you really loved my round Kate Spade sunglasses, very 60s, very retro, but they are fair high price point so I thought I would get these if you really like that look but don't want to pay there we go the Kate Spade price tag these I mean these are pretty much identical they have got more of a hexagon shape just inside the eye area but other than that they are so similar I might keep these just as like a backup because if I'm going swimming or if I'm going out for the day and I just want to chuck some sunglasses in my bag, I don't want to risk scratching my Kate Spade ones, but I still want the look. These are absolutely gorgeous, really, really good dupe for the Kate Spade ones. So yeah, amazing find from New Look via ASOS. And then my last small item is this pair of earrings. These are ASOS own brand, so again, really affordable, but I really love the shape of these. They almost look like Pac-Man, um, little gold Pac-Man, something to take a bow out of your ear. I'm really liking switching up my earrings a little bit more lately, although I am wearing my Monica Veneta Diamond ones as my daily earrings, but yeah, thought they'd be a really nice way of switching it up for certain special occasions. And last but not least, this is a piece which I feel is a really lovely staple for a spring wardrobe, a lovely spring investment piece, and it is a silk blouse in a beautiful blush pink shade. This one was £159, it's from Whistles, so it is going to have to be really special for me to keep it because it is an investment piece, but I have been looking for a silk blouse to add to my spring wardrobe for quite a long time. In previous years, I've found some that have just been far too expensive, or if they're from a lower priced retailer, the quality has not been perfect, this has got some really lovely design details such as this little tie effect on the sleeves. So you're going to be able to create a lovely bow on the sleeves. I think the colour is beautiful. It doesn't look like it's going to be too sheer, so fingers crossed you're not going to be able to see my underwear underneath. But let's give this a try and fingers crossed it might be the one. 
So I've got to say, despite the fact that this clearly needs steaming or ironing, I am a big fan of the blouse so far. Really love this detail on the cuffs. It's like a pleated detail that goes into a knot or a bow. No one is here to help me tie a bow, so I've just knotted it. But I think that's a really nice detail. It is not sheer. I do have a nude coloured bra on, but actually you cannot see any detail of the bra underneath, so that's a big tick. I think the colour is really, really wearable. I've paired it with a suede um, high-waisted skirt. You guys have probably seen this many times before, but yeah, I really, really like this. As I said, it does need ironing, um, and it is gonna be one of those pieces that does continually need ironing each time you wear it, but the quality of the material feels really, really beautiful. The colour, it's like a perfect powder pink. Yes, I feel very positively about this one, and I think it's a keeper. Just one more thing very quickly before I do finish, because this is also from ASOS, but not from this particular haul. It is a jumper dress. You might have spotted this in my What's New in My Wardrobe video. This I actually was very kindly sent by ASOS. I went to a dinner event with the ASOS team a couple of weeks ago, and they very kindly said we could choose a piece from the website, and then they sent it to us, so very, very generous and I chose this jumper dress. Jumper dresses, I think, are one piece that you can really transition from a winter wardrobe to a spring wardrobe. You can wear with over knee boots, again with like a suede jacket over the top, and this one is just a very simple, very, very wearable design. It's almost chevron detail in the knit going down, not too dissimilar to the kind of style that I've got on at the moment. Quite a contemporary take on the jumper dress. So I'll show you what this one looks like on because it really is a very, very wearable piece that I'm excited to get even more wear out of. So that is everything that I picked up from a ASOS recently. Everything that I've mentioned in today's video will be linked down below, so if you fancy doing any shopping or you want to do a little bit more research into any of these pieces, then just check the description box down below. Everything you need will be down there. Let me know in the comments which is your favourite piece, any that you think I should send back. I love to hear what you guys think of everything, so let me know down below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more hauls from me, then please give it a thumbs up so that I know that you liked it and you like this kind of video. And that is all from me, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!